Yeah. Shall I repeat? No. Okay. Um, public comment. We have any public comment. The LBA had a fundraiser in support of the LBA, and we raised $1,200. Wow. Pretty good. That was really nice. Nice for the, definitely nice, but super nice for the first time because. I had no idea what I was doing, so <laughs> I was expecting to have to pay to have a fundraiser, but here we are. So that was cool. That's pretty cool. Where was it? That was um, in the Brooks House. Well, the dumpsters were in the Brooks House parking oh, right, lot, right. and okay. people entered at TC Passios and went around that wow. little triangle thing. But That's good. Yeah. Okay. That was fun. And so they donated all the dumpsters? So been there, dumped that out of Fitchburg, right. we needed the right. dumpsters. We had to still pay the tipping fee, um, taking all the stuff to the yard or whatever. Um, okay. Yeah, after paying that, we went away with it with $1,200. Wow. So with that, the LBA is going to be able to do even more. Mm -hmm. So that's really, really good news. Um, okay, on to the meet and greet. <laughs> so so I had a question yeah. you sent me an invite yeah. to the meet and greet did you send that to all town officials I've been meaning to reach out to you I was yes. at the office line. okay because I, I literally I took the list that you had emailed yep. me long ago and just pulled up the email addresses for pulled all up everybody copy paste perfect it. I just I didn't want to duplicate the effort yeah. I did I wasn't sure if I received it because of me here or because of me elsewhere? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, I started to put something together because I, I, I told the department heads when mm -hmm. we met last that it was coming. And then I started putting something together and I got that. And I've just been out straight and then I was out no. last week. So I was like, I I'll just, just wait till Thursday and I'll ask her because it's still a month. I ran before. with it because I was Which, trying to get off great. everybody's yeah. schedule as quick as possible. No, that's so. Yeah, thank yeah. you. So I yeah uh, I took the list you gave me basically copied pasted, mm -hmm. um, and then I've been using that same format, sending it out to business owners. Yeah. Have you had any replies from business owners? Yes. Um. Positive, yes, yeah, very positive. I don't have a count yet. It, I've so, um, shoot, Carl, Carly, Kara, Kara does the social media for the town, and so I've been communicating with her. Um, we put together a Facebook invite, so that's really nice. Another way to yeah. just get it out to people, but now I'm a little confused because of the invite I sent out through email and then who's said they're attending on Facebook. I have to go in again. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't have an account right now. Mm -hmm. But um a lot of businesses have responded. I also put a just personally a post on the Lunenburg discussing Lunenburg, one of those forums. Um if you're a business owner or starting a business in Lunenburg, could you tell me about your business or whatever? And I had a lot of responses for mm -hmm. people that are like just getting the idea going and so i reached out to all the people that have commented on that and had a lot of responses as well so these are businesses that are like oh i have a camera and i'd really like to start a photography business or you know what i mean yeah. like so <laughs> it's well, nice mean, to that's have actually really great because small businesses a lot of times when someone has a skill mm -hmm. and a talent and they have an idea but they don't really necessarily know how to yeah. navigate so things. i'm thinking we get these people i mean it would be great i can't imagine how an event like this would have helped me when i first kind of got started mm -hmm. i would know just right off the bat who to talk to i had to spend probably the first year and a half of my business just trying to figure out who do i go through for what type of thing so right yeah um and so I've inv invited a lot of those level of business owners all the way up to like yeah. Lanny's and Stillman's and um, heard positive feedback from them too. Um, the other thing is Mary Ray said that they're covering porta potties for the event. Yeah. So that's taken care of. Um, cool. Yeah. 
Go ahead. Yeah, no, um, yeah. I was just trying to think of something else that. Food? Yes. Yeah, because I, mean, I talked to the marketing person. Um, she deferred me to somebody else. Yeah. And back in the, um, this work is credit union. It's um, true. We've got a new CFO, mm -hmm. new CEO. Right. Yeah, so, and then, you know, so I think there's a whole thing about expenses, so I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. But if I get a no, then I thought what I would do is see if I can trace who I am. Yeah, I'm getting through the hometown. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. You know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so we're talking about getting places to just sponsor mm -hmm. purchase of food. Yeah. Yeah. And then I thought possibly I'll see you because that one I do have connections because they've just opened the line. Mm -hmm. and they do, I mean, they do a decent amount of business here. And yeah. Do you know Mike Savageau? No. Oh, well, we're building it. Yeah, he used to, yeah. he was a, on the a select board. member, a select board member here, building commissioner, oh, and he's—I yeah. think he might be the chairman of their board right now. Oh, oh wow! Okay. Savage? Yeah. Okay. He's a. a... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I knew he was on the board. He's been on the board for. He's been a while. on the board for yeah. Yeah. Wow. He's yeah. a he's a mover and a shaker. Mm -hmm. He I knows hear, people. I I hear you. Uh. Okay. And there's like, I should have been writing it down. As I'm like cooking dinner and stuff, I'm like, oh, yeah, there's that I need to talk about. Um, oh, voice, voice man. I was going to say, that was boring. Yes, I, I know. I can see her all the time. You're talking about yeah. women that have a lot of yes. thoughts for me. <laughs> Even my voice memos, you would hear, Mom, give me the toilet paper. <laughs> something. It's and all right. Be, the thought you. will be gone. <laughs> I'd start it Wait and then instantly get, you know. get interrupted. Um. Uh, um, that Larry's could possibly right. ask if they wanted to donate. Yes, might be a help too. So, is the idea to buy food ready and just deliver? Okay, deli trays, etc. Yeah. Yes, yeah, get yeah. yeah, So, there's really no limit to who we can talk to if yeah. the workers' credit union offers the right. sponsor. Great yeah. if Bad Larry's does too. Awesome. Yeah. We right. should right. continue right. to reach out to mm -hmm. places and gather as much assistance with that and sponsor. Yeah. Have an idea of how much money you want to have for um for food for food. I can figure that out pretty quickly. I think we're going to need to know. Yes. Headcount. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. what it's or like have a rough idea. Or like not Sometimes when I'm doing parties like that, mm -hmm. you know, like I kind of make like for every 40 people is as a lot of money. So that way, mm -hmm. you know, you can just think of multiples of that. Right. Um, I think I would need to talk to somebody that's yeah. done these types of events before and see their formula because sounds I've like you're talking to someone who's done these types of events before. <laughs> If you've done it and you have an idea in your head, I'm you're not going to step on my toes whatsoever. So, but for me personally, I'd have to do a bunch of research on it, and I just haven't gotten to that yeah. item yet. Um, I I can I can if you have if you, I don't know if you, like usually when I throw a party in person or not, I usually have an idea of what I'm planning to do for a menu. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. my first question. Like, mm -hmm. My idea, to... yeah, my idea would be um, finger food type. That is, that's like, like, that's so much. I mean, we can go, like, sushi is considered, but no. I mean, sushi would be yeah, awesome if we get the sponsor. Right. Let's go. Yeah. But, <laughs> like, I don't know. Sushi and a horse riding ring sounds like a dangerous, a dangerous combination. <laughs> if, if you have that, enough. Like what is it? The fish seat. eggs on there? You won't <laughs> tell what's dirt and what's just <laughs> crunchy. Anyways, so so like little sandwich type things or little fruit, quesadillas, fruit tray, little quesadilla Easy type pickles. things like that. Yeah. That's why you were saying BJ's before. Yes, mm -hmm. right. So mm -hmm. uh, you were saying BJ's because they have like a bigger packets. wholesale companies like that have pre-made trays already, and it would just be really easy to just go in and get stuff. Also, even if you're ordering trays, they're doing a volume, so you only need like 72 hours notice for them to put together 
a significant order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hanford may also be able. I mean, Hanford does trades in some capacity. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what is cold versus hot for their availability availability these days post COVID. Mm -hmm. But if you're looking for in town businesses mm -hmm. that might have a little, they're big enough, they might be able to swing a little more. I'm guessing they might be in that range. Mm -hmm. Hannaford, um, Market Basket, I know not technically local, they actually have a catering, uh, and I have got stuff from them. I'll, I can send you some ideas offline and suggestions with the links. And you, if you tell me more or less what you're looking for, mm -hmm. I can try to come up with a number for you. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think as far as menu type? I mean, that's kind of what I was thinking is just the little pre-made mm -hmm. sandwich type stuff yeah. and yeah. Oh, told, very, right? like, very simple. Oh, yeah. Yeah, old. Yeah. No. I yeah. think very, I think cold um, and simple. Mm -hmm. If something's going to need to be heated up, if we get things from BJ's, then that's where it becomes more, you know. But if you're going to do cold, I wouldn't heat anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they just, it's just that the location, it would be different if it was at a restaurant, we yes. were bringing stuff in and they had the kitchen set up and everything, but everything kind of needs to be just ready to go whenever yeah. we get it there. If you wanted hot foods, that's angleable without that much more effort, realistically, but it requires... Um, Last minute pickup, probably. Uh, sooner pickup, it's going to, it will likely... Or, and or um, a uh, uh, insulated box, mm -hmm. which a place that is used to catering may have and can provide, may not. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what the rental place by Mackey's rents anymore, like, or, or in general, if they're only mm -hmm. tool tools or if they're more of a general rental, because general rental places will have insulated boxes for food for hot food transport. I've done that many times. Sure. Uh, it's also fine to not go that route. But if you wound up in a place where you're like, eh, it's late September, it's the evening, we might need something warm, there's avenues for that. Mm -hmm. I think you could do warm beverages and balance. Mm -hmm. I think that's also you know, whether you do tea, coffee, hot cider, yeah. you know, as the, if people that's are cold, that gives them. Mm -hmm. You know, we should do is check with Jimmy Batanzi. We do. Oh. Do you have a contact or does anybody? For Jim? Yeah, I have residents. Yeah. 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 Do you want to? Yes. So the porta potty is covered. Yeah. As far as drinks go, um, Lou and I visited the. Elaine. Elaine. <laughs> so we do a serve alcohol. The Elaine. <laughs> your light's on on your phone. Oh, um, sure. We can serve alcohol. It doesn't fall into the permit aspect of that if we're not thinking of selling it. So, um, but at the same time, if we offer alcohol, then we would have to fund that with the expectation mm -hmm. of not getting anything back. Me personally, if there's coffee there, I'm game, I'm good. But that would be something, and I just, I just don't drink, so I'm opening that up for a conversation here too. So, if we, I mean, if, want if we want it there, we would have to find a way to pay for it, and is mm -hmm. that something we would want to do? What's the local business culture on it? Because I have worked, I have worked and been involved with businesses where you, you need to have some booze at an event, even not a lot, but that, that kind of needs to be an option culturally for people to feel like it's worth their time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but not even because they're necessarily going to drink much, but it's a yeah, standard. It's a yeah. yeah. Uh, for, I don't know local business culture mm -hmm. well enough to comment. One I can that. say that everywhere that I've been, as far as networking events, mixers, whatever, there is alcohol. I don't partake personally. I have no. I have no idea what to even buy. So, I would say yes. I mean, if you, I would say if you the decision is to serve alcohol, it would be easiest to just do beer and wine. Okay. Yeah, because you don't have to 
worry. I mean, it's easy to monitor. If somebody eat, drinks 12 beers, you know, you're like, okay, well, we got to watch this guy. Or whereas if it's mixed drinks, mm -hmm. you know, who knows right. what's pouring, who's pouring what into what. Right. But then, I mean, at that point, with that kind of event, wouldn't you have to have a certified whatever? She know? said, no, if you're giving it away. Um, I so would if stick it's like in with just wine because wine can pour at smaller quantities while they beer. I mean, some beers are like 5.5 percent of alcohol, and so it's quite a seltzer and seltzer. So, yeah, yeah. wine, seltzer, and the hot and cider. Yeah. I think that's that's mm. very appropriate. If someone can't drink wine anymore, that's a bummer and a half. <laughs> I, I mean, like, I mean, I physically can't just taste all of that, but <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, and then in that, how would we fund that? Or would we also open that up for sponsoring from local places like Elaine's or, and then at the same time, what is the verbiage we can use in approaching these businesses for sponsoring these things? I still go back to, I don't know that we can approach anybody and ask them to sponsor mm -hmm. because I think that as municipal employees, we're not permitted to solicit donations. People are welcome to submit donations. Mm -hmm. We're well, allowed to tell people that there are donation opportunities, mm -hmm. but I don't think we can go and say, hey, do you want to do this? Right. Um, so in that way, would the town be able to put on the Facebook page saying, if anybody wants a donation opportunity, here it is, or do we just pay for it and then have a little donation jar? I think when businesses donate, they're going to want the exposure. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, and, and I don't think there's anything then, wrong with yeah. them getting the exposure. Right, uh, right. If they voluntarily donate. Right. And you know this platter donated by, or right. food and beverage provided by the following businesses, right. and whether it's like a poster size thing with everybody's logo on mm -hmm. it, like right. they did for the skate park when they were fundraising, right. or if everybody gets a little their own little plaque, I, I, that's kind of I think. A, so basically, you're saying that we could put something up and just say there are sponsorship opportunities mm -hmm. and let people come to the yeah. town. It, it, if you're interested in sponsoring, feel free to contact us. Yeah. Okay. So I can talk to him. Um, yeah. You know, and much like the food, I think the head count drives mm -hmm. how much alcohol you purchase. Right. And personally, I would lean on the lower end of purchasing than the higher end because it's better to run out after everybody has two drinks then yeah have a bunch of half empty wine bottles or mm -hmm. whatever kicking around right because then you've got to figure out what to do with them right okay i can bring two large coolers too I thought you were going to say two large bottles of wine. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that too. No, what could we do with half empty bottles of wine? I mean, I don't like it. It doesn't mean I won't drink it. Like, I've got one actually filled with seltzer right now, so I'm glad to bring it. We just had a family function, too much seltzer. <laughs> okay. And then the next thing would be that, as far as like simple things like sodas and water and whatever else, does the town have a fund to purchase those things for the event? What is the I town willing to provide? I, I have to look into to that. I don't know that we have any fund for providing mm -hmm. that. I mean, this committee doesn't have a budget. Mm -hmm. um, the planning department budget is like office supplies and training and mm -hmm. stuff. So I don't know that. If it's nothing, that's fine. It would just be nice to know um, for sure. Yeah, I mean, we might be able to invest in water. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I think, again, if you have coffee, tea, and water, I don't know that you need soda, mm -hmm. especially if you have alcohol. Okay, 
That's right. Good. You don't want to bring too much. Really. Yeah, and I mean, like stuff like water. Mm -hmm. If it's left over, you can donate it to the, the DPW, side. the mm -hmm. Boys and Girls Club. Right. You know, places where yeah. it's a good point. Right. Yeah. Mm. Is that going to happen in lieu of our um yes? Meeting? Yeah. I thought that was the reason we picked that night. Thank you, right? Just mm -hmm. we initially um, spoke. Uh, Trash can. I can bring a trash can. We're closing up our camper and bring everything home. So I put all this. We're just up there. I've okay. got a lot of extra. We can take stuff out too. We've got mm -hmm. a pretty big dumpster. Okay. Mm -hmm. huh? Um. Does the town have um? A speaker and mic for just a quick announcement. Just kind of like a. Like, and again, I mean, if we do, it's not. It's easy enough to get. Mm -hmm. I just don't know. So it'd just be something that. Um, yeah. I would need to. It would. I just, in my mind, I don't want people just to show up and be like, oh, like mm -hmm. just kind of wander around. It would be nice to do like a like a formal greeting of everybody. Thank you all for coming and. Um, please kind of mingle and meet yeah, and like to see yeah. all the officials, right? Yeah, maybe someone can take the lead on, yeah, um, like having a creating a little program, if you will, mm -hmm. and invite a couple stalls, like you can invite the chair. And... I bet That's Michael Ray would be happy to talk. Yeah, I was just thinking, he was the first one I was thinking, yeah, yeah. Maybe the chair of the, of the planning board. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's not big on public speaking, I hear. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't bother to hear the guy's kind of an asshole. <laughs> so. So would you mind? To... Yeah, whatever you want. Yeah. You know, on the weekends, I am a medieval king. I am used to talking in front of people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, <clears throat> I personally am fine behind the Shoot, <laughs> so um, would you want to kind of write up a greeting or do you want to see what we've already put to you know uh, you've seen the invite so you know yeah, kind of uh, quick. if you want me to write something I will write something I am happy to be told what you want me to talk about and then I will write something I am happy to be handed something mm -hmm. and say Matt say this and I will say the thing that is close enough to that that still sounds like I'm the one who said it okay so let me know what you want there, no I'll, problem. I'll send you the document that we all saw. Okay. And then give you the freedom to Great. alter that. Happily. And then I will probably, if we're all in agreement, maybe have them do the program, program, yeah. the greeting, yeah. and sure, whatever you want. Yeah. Introductory. Do you want to make it? I'll say I am happy to do it. Mm -hmm. Um I wonder if it's better and it may not be um but i wonder if it's better to have a member of this committee as opposed to an ex officio member doing the greeting um because as one is it's this committee right to um i don't know which way is better for feeling happy and welcoming i'm happy either way mm -hmm. i don't care but I mean, I'm putting that out there as a general and thing. and it could be a small a short speaking program. Yeah, Kathy, you're the chair. You could welcome and right. introduce Michael Ray and right. Matt right. And, and, Matt. and the elected officials if they decide that they would like to put their two cents right. in. Can each get two or five minutes to yeah you know say their piece? <laughs> and, you know, what are we starting at five or five thirty? Five thirty. So yeah. if if everybody if it starts at five thirty and at six o'clock, 
you do the speaking program, go through that, and then come back around at 7.15 and say, you know, hey, we're sort yeah. of getting to the wrapping up. Please, you know, feel free to make sure you get yeah. cards or whatever, and, you know, something like that. Okay. All right, so I have Kathy to do kind of the quick intro, turning it over to you, and from there we'll just kind of mingle. And Great. I would say one thing that is necessary at the end is to it is an actionable for everybody, just mingle and get to yep. know everybody, um, so that people know what they need to be doing at that time. Which is the whole point of the event is so that. Yeah, everybody can interact and meet each other, and especially town officials and staff. So, uh, I would make a suggestion that someone draws up a program that we can put it on the table in the at the entrance mm. um, with the name of people. Um, and I might have like business card holders for multiple business cards that people can. So they want to put mm -hmm. their business cards there. Yeah. To be seen that then people can take like, you know, like you can put your a stack of your business cards there mm -hmm. that people can. Mm -hmm. It also might be a good place for town officials to put their cards, all of their cards. Right. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna so, have like a little shopping. I assume thing. other town officials have cards in some of the back. I don't. And, and all, all the cool. professionals do. That's why I figured. Yeah. yeah. I like. I'm like. I don't have them. I assume I'm not supposed to have them, but yeah, I don't. I don't know that there's any elected or appointed officials that have. But that rights. makes sense to me. But so I, I'm gonna offer to source the business cards holder. Okay. Um, I'm gonna see. And I don't know who you wanted to do the program. No, I mean just uh, to, what I'm saying is I think someone needs to lead with a. I will bring a printed page with the program. Yeah. Okay. Um, I can do that. I was say I don't mind doing that, but I'm gonna need somebody to say, "Yeah, that looks like what we want." Okay. And then what I, I would probably do is we can talk to Minuteman about getting like I would probably do it on five by seven cards or something, so it's not. I think it's, that yeah, if I were to do it, I would send it to you anyways. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I do with yeah. everything else. That's fine. That's fine. So I don't mind rather than that. skipping, rather than having that step, if you're willing to, yeah, that's I would. Fine. Yeah. And do, did we finalize the booklet that you created, Adam? Uh, because that would be a good resource. guy. Yeah, yes. we yeah. we did. I I think I think I did. Mm -hmm. okay. I don't know. I've been chasing my own tail all summer. Right, we can those and have us mm -hmm. hand out and I can stand up trays so that yeah. you can just grab them. So and I'll order them. some name tags of various yeah. colors. Yes. So that okay. yeah. elected officials, paid staff, and business owners can all be mm -hmm. color coded differently. Right. So it just makes it a little bit easier to make sure visually the what? Make sure the color. Yes. So to visually identify who you're talking to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to say name tags, supplied. Yeah. These are going to be to where people can come and just maybe somebody's there writing their names on the tags, giving them to them, basically. I'm assuming they're not like pre printed things. But a sign and sheet that people have been. Yeah. I think that would be a good idea so that we could have kind of a follow-up email sent out to people mm -hmm. if they're willing um, to yeah. leave their information. Um, <clears throat> so I would just encourage people to come to the whatever table and sign in, just name, phone number, um, email, and then maybe like a short line about uh, what stage of business they're in, maybe? Yeah. I would just or... say business name and you know location, maybe, mm -hmm. and that way, or yeah. you know, stage of business is I think works too. I think that's more open ended, and everybody yeah. would kind of take it differently. Or they would just say owner. Yeah, it wouldn't make much sense. Yeah, yeah. business name and yeah. 
How many tables to have? And where are we going to get the tables? I've got a couple. Um, how about parks and recreation department oh. has have tables, or the uh, utilities department have tables? Okay. Um, do you could you make sure they're available first? Okay. That we night? have an idea how many we need. How many do you have? That I don't know. I'm not part of the department. No. Just, um okay. it exist. <laughs> I'm thinking three okay. I'm for food, one for drinks, probably, one for sign in. So that makes well, sense. You've got, but then if you get business cards and the hand dumps, that's gonna be an addition. Okay, so six because you're right, people will want to bring cards for people to look over or right. promo yeah. items and whatever. Okay. So six tables. I'll okay. I think the biggest to do, um, just to kind of wrap all this up, because it seems like we've got everything pretty much covered as far as, so you're going to get business card holders, you're going to get name tags, yeah. those were the two, two purchase things. Um, Adam, can you let the town officials that you invited know each bring in their business cards? I didn't invite any Josie to. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Whoever, whoever did they invite should. should well, I, people. I, I think... can ask Heather to send an email out to everybody saying that because the email list I now have mm -hmm. is a mixture of officials, staff, business owners, whatever. Well, how about so. this? When when we're two weeks out, send, send me right. your. Uh, actually, when we're two weeks out, if you just send a reminder that to everybody mm -hmm. and say, please remember to bring some business cards, there'll be opportunities for okay. you to exchange them. Um, and if you want to give me the list of town officials that have responded as a positive, okay, I can reach out to each of them and that will have business cards and say, hey, this is this is what's happening. Can you just make sure you have enough to do this? Don't bring four in your pocket. Right. Not that you want to replicate a third time, but I was just thinking an invitation done through Google. The thing that I love about that is it gives you that reminder, you know, mm -hmm. it gives you that text. Well, and so we'll, because the I one see. you sent originally was through Outlook. That's what I did. Okay. So great. it will so do that if, as long as you didn't yeah, right. delete okay. the mm -hmm. reminder. When right, people right. hit okay. accept, well, yeah, it should just remind. Yeah. Them. Yeah. Right. Right, as long as it populates everything. I accept it. It's now on my calendar one way or another. Um, so I'm going to... You said you're going to ask Chris about tables? Yeah. yeah it's I'm going to put you as a part of the asterisk, which just means I have to do it. Sure. Saves me a walk downstairs. Um, hey, you know, how many steps do you got? <laughs> so, so far, what we've talked about, just so we can, like... So, so a week later, I'm not like, oh, what am I supposed to do? All right. So as far as food goes, I'll probably coordinate with social media to put a post up saying we're open to donations. Mm -hmm. There are opportunities to donate for these items as far as uh, beverages and food. Um, the town can supply water. Um, let's see. What about chairs, Josie? So I was, if... It was kind of in my head that if we didn't have tables, if the town didn't have tables that we could use, I would contact maybe one of the local churches to see if they would be willing to let us use chairs. There is something nice about people just being standing up because we're just having finger food because it's easier to. I think you need more. some chairs in case you have somebody with a mobility issue. That's kind of what my thought was. Um, oh yeah. Like, I don't think you need chairs for every attendee, right. but right. if there's 75 people coming, you probably need 25 chairs. That's what I'm kind of thinking. About a year ago, I couldn't have stood for two hours. Mm -hmm. so that's, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I will. I don't think Mary Ray wants us sitting on the horses. Uh, I'll reach out to. Well, I can think of something I could have done even less than sitting yeah. for two hours. <laughs> I mean, because there's a lot of places around here that have them and they're just stored for an event. So I was kind of going to call around and see if we could use some for that event. Griffin, did you talk to him? Stillman? Yeah. He's coming. 
I, I, how, I don't remember what I was supposed to reach out to him about. Chairs. Oh. To, uh, just, you know, I always Because we're not really sure if he's still used for events. Yeah, we're not yeah. sure if he's still with them, though. Because okay. he got rid of the tents. Yeah. I'll ask him. Um, so, Kathy, you're going to be bringing a trash can. We're going to haul stuff out. You're going to do an intro. You're going to do the program. You're going to write the program? Did okay. we talk about that? No, right. Adam's going to write the program. So what do we mean by do the program? You're going to speak. Uh, yeah, yes, but uh, uh -huh. I have in my mind what a program is, and that's not normally something was something someone would say mm -hmm. out loud. So if I have a disconnect. I'm just looking to. Uh, in fix. my mind, it's kind of just to give somebody, as they walk in, an idea of what's going to happen. Great. I, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that, that you're talking about the written program. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And then he's going to write gonna, his own. He's going to do his own speaking. Yes. Whether he writes a speech or yes. just flies off the cuff. Two separate things. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Now I understand. Super. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. I used the wrong kind of word, but I'm going to instead worry. do speech. You're going to do a speech. Um, you don't think we should have copies for people to take? Of what? Of the order of events? Yeah. I think if we just have a big one that's okay. like, you know, on the table, yep. I think that would be sufficient. Fair enough, because it is kind of just yeah. a mixing sort of thing. Yeah, You're yeah, not yeah. sitting at a table, not, speaking, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. It's going to, so in my mind, this whole speaking thing at the start, 10 minutes yeah oh yeah yeah like not yeah. very long no it's not a yeah yeah no. and then the rest of the time so in the invite that i sent out i told people no elevator pitches no mm -hmm. like lectures no yeah whatever else so uh, there would know, be just a short greeting is what i told people and you always want to give the state officials the opportunity mm -hmm. to speak um but oh yeah yeah are we reaching out to them Margaret would show up to anything. Yeah. But the yes, I think we should give them an opportunity. To, I think I think I just someone, don't know until like should. literally that night if they're gonna show up. Well, I think because, and that's fine yeah. because and we don't we don't even necessarily need to put them on, mm -hmm. but normally what will happen is we can the host will maybe. defer to them first yes. and then to the next local elected officials. Mm -hmm. Um but if somebody can just sort of give them an elbow in the ribs in that wow. first half hour it says hey we're happy to have you speak mm -hmm. but we're just trying to make it brief remarks mm -hmm. um, i don't know our delegation is really a collection of brand standards too much but i've worked in some places where you know there's always one official who would stand up and they'd talk for 15 minutes about anything and everything and mm -hmm. it's a matter of what's going on that day too. Yeah, whether they yeah. show up or not. Right. Yeah. Because that's kind of a tough time. And that's and that's fine. I mean, I, yeah. I don't think them them being there right. is nice. It's not critical. Um, it's just yeah. a matter of making sure they know that they're not expected to carry any sort of weight in their remarks. Yeah. So basically, I mean, I think we all kind of know our. Mm -hmm. So I have shopping list, business card holder, your supplying name tags, you're going to contact uh, Parks and Rec for tables, I'll reach out to local churches about chairs, two weeks out send an email reminder to bring business cards, promo items type things for the promo table basically. Um, I'll put together some ideas for food, the okay. things that I have done and I send to you with an idea of Price. Okay. And a suggestion um, that maybe you can do when you talk with Kara is instead of asking for items, you can just ask for uh, the if if someone would like whatever the proper phrasing is mm -hmm. to contribute towards to be a sponsor of yeah. foods, and then people can make cash donation to buy those things. Mm -hmm. Gift cards is usually the best way so that it doesn't have to transfer money from one person mm. to the next. Another thought is what about a food truck as opposed to going out and getting sponsors or food? You're 
going to have a really hard time getting one. Wouldn't that then, I think that was one of the items that then changes it to a special event. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's it. Okay. That's and a month one? out, uh, they're all booked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You know, like it's a great idea. It, it is. And it was one of those things on the list where it's like, yeah, to get away from the whole permit thing, mm -hmm. we just kind of had to, to do some things different. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. But that's just what's the answer this way. But the, he doesn't own the food trucks. No, he has a relationship with them and they go I there know. and people. People right. pay the food truck. But he used to have one. So I don't, yeah. he probably sold so it 20. Oh, years ago. Yeah, yeah. 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 Barbecue gyms or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Was doing pig roast yeah. 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 Okay. But I mean, he's only been over at Hollis for what, 10 years now? I'm not even sure because it's been that long. Um, yeah, no, yeah. I think it has. Yeah, because he had just he had just bought it yeah. when I started working here. And that we, was nine years. Yeah, we brought Sam there as a uh, baby baby and he's 10 so okay. yeah yeah because the marshals had it before yeah right well and jim was on Hollis Hollis road yeah um so basically that evening my intention is to get people talking to each other. And mm -hmm. if any of you need anything from me that night at all, let me know. But that's kind of what I'm going to be doing, probably. Um, because it seems like we've all kind of got our uh, assignments, I would say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did we need from Jeff and Pam to get? Send your donuts is what was brought up. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I didn't have them all. Oh, but you're contacting him, right? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Is there anything else that you guys can think of that I need to do or reach out to anybody for? I have a question for Adam. Yeah. Yep. What is the magic line, and there probably isn't a clear one, between asking for donations and letting people know that the opportunity exists for donations. I don't know. Okay, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I am happy making that call myself. I just know that it's been mentioned before. Yeah. And it, you know, it's been a while, but I don't think that they've loosened those regulations. And that's a state regulation. Yeah. Right? Okay, cool. Not part of the ethics. Yeah. I do think that maybe the differentiation in my mind is that we could approach people as long as we put something out publicly to allow anybody to do that as well. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? My you know, understanding... Like, rather than only contacting these people and giving them the opportunity, we're also opening it up to... Yeah, them. I know. I think, it's, I think it's more about when you contact someone directly, there's the potential that someone could perceive it as a town employee pressuring them to give a donation and it it's it's really kind of a gray distinction mm -hmm. i mean it really comes down to I, i'm is it less I, i'm putting the warning out there i'm not going to monitor how yeah. you all do it i'm going to mm -hmm. let you each what mom would have make it, I'm going to let you each make your own individual right. determination. The caveat to all of that is ethics is so if you violate open meeting law, that is like a finger wag and you get a little blah, blah, blah. If you violate ethics, that's on the individual. And it's just a different approach. Um, but it all comes down to somebody needing to complain, there needing to be something, mm -hmm. you know, so I, I'm not trying to, I don't want to shut everyone down, but I feel like I'm not doing my job if yeah. I don't tell you that this is there. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. no, that, actually, that informs me a great deal. Thank you. Okay. Um, 
As far as, oh, I guess this is kind of important. As far as collecting the items that everybody's contributing, mm -hmm. I'm, we have a trailer. I'm willing to drive around and collect Kathy's ice chests, mm -hmm. tables, chairs, whatever, sure. just like maybe the week before or mm -hmm. something, or just so, because I don't know what's going to happen. Anybody could, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, so when you do have those things, if you could just yeah. message me and mm -hmm. I'll just pick them up, schedule in to come around and pick everything up and be there probably like an hour before, obviously, and set everything up. I try. I know you have me. That's good if the water's in water cooler. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do I have any of that or me none? <laughs> I don't even want to get up. <laughs> Not a vibration. Um, for, 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 for that, I think we're gonna have to. You mean to put in a uh, water that osmosis system under my sink so I can oh. get rid of my water cooler? Mm. Key, putting that on the back burner. Yeah, you can go um, Costco delivers you. Yes, the, the cost is for a family that drinks as much water as we do. Um, a three hundred dollar, like dropping five hundred dollars to set up cold uh, reverse osmosis filter in my kitchen, would be a significant money savings. We drink a lot of water. That's great. It is. My boys don't drink anything else really. Wow, well, you're lucky. Yeah, it. yeah. Well, they don't have much opportunity. Mm. Uh, <laughs> um, was there anything else? No, for this part. No, I think we're. I think we gave everything for Adam. Yeah. I don't have hey, that I much to do. Two things, okay. For the the only thing I have for me is making sure I know what the heck I'm talking about. Is there something else I'm supposed to be doing? Out under I'll things. send you the document that everybody yeah, else. Yeah. Thank wants. you. Yeah. Please. Rosie, good point. She just brought up yeah. paper products. Paper products, serving times. You know, there's all of that. Yeah, that'll relate back to the food. I, I, I think, think that's all purchased quantity. with the donations and quantity. Okay. And okay, okay. You know, wherever you go to purchase trays, whatever. BJ. Yeah. 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 Okay. We'll make a hundred dollars. I'll make a hundred dollars a day just towards it. I will make a whatever it takes. Yeah. <laughs> I said I will make a whatever it takes donation. Okay. I will too. So. So there you go. We already have two hundred dollars. Okay. And I'll just give you a visa card to be easier. Is that, is that everything on the event? I think so. so. Okay. Mm -hmm. So sound. What did we say? Oh, you're gonna. Go. I'll check with okay. and see. Okay. Because I imagine that we probably have something. Oh, okay. okay. Parks and Rec should have us. Yeah, have kind of Only if you know Parks and Rec, we could tell us. Wait, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not parks. what was that? The sound system. Oh, I only own land. That's it. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so, set of programs. Yeah, but she's, but the commission is just policy <laughs> and ownership of land. Yes. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder if the school would be willing to yeah. let us use it. Yeah. Oh. Let's not dip our toe in that pool. Yeah. So when I was updating, uh, is it is there an easy way for people to reach you out in the ether? Like, let's say I happen to be updating the board, the planning board on Monday, mm -hmm. and happen to mention, you know, oh, well, yeah, we talked about how you know the invitations have been sent out. Everyone make sure our calendars are clear. We talked about how there's definitely opportunities to donate mm -hmm. to help this go off and how people who wanted to could reach out to Z Josie Gilchrist. Mm -hmm. I do have a town email. Ah. Um because I don't I think that should be completely above board because yes, I mean that Absolutely. I can't think of any way that could be misconstrued. No. no. Oh great. We can ask Heather to do it as part of the select board. Uh, yeah, you could do, yeah. And I mean, it's I two can... weeks before they meet again or a yeah, week and a half, but yeah, that's, I mean, that would work. 
She as has, part of her town manager update. Mm -hmm. She has oh, oh, to bring it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great. At the very so beginning. I will be the top mentioning it a couple I times during the meeting uh, at the yeah. start and I or end with our town email okay. address. Yeah. So if there's yeah, yeah. business owners yeah. out there who yeah. didn't have a thing for watching planning board meetings, yeah. um, okay. once they pay the necessary therapy and medical bills, then they can make some yeah. donations if they would. <laughs> It's just J. Dorsey III. Oh, you said that in the when I have it here. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And yeah. I'm not super popular, so it does show up at the top of my list. <laughs> it's not taken over by spam yet. Okay. Um, okay. So just so I was clear on that last one, you, you, and I are all making $200. Oh, I am making a hundred dollar donation. Hundred dollar, and I'll give you a card. Ish. Yeah. Okay. I can do the same. I, I am obligated to touch base with the woman who actually makes the money in my household first. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, yeah, so it's that's exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, at this point, I, I just, just want like, this to go well. Yeah. <laughs> this is a personal. Thing. Just bring a case of beer. <laughs> For you. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's just wine. Okay. And I'm going to bring his drinking horn and fill it with wine, you know. <laughs> All right. Okay. Is that it? I can, okay. I guess this needs to be said also. So once we have the donations, where do they so you're donate to? I can, I can. Buy stuff. I yeah, have that's, to, So, so where can they go? on the menu and I will send you ideas, but I think since you're leading, you should decide mm -hmm. what are you going to do. Right. Um, you know, if you buy things that are cold, like I know you want to, I mean, sushi is expensive, but I mean, if you have the trays that comes with it, I right. usually flip it, put and it, fill it with ice. ice, and then I put things on top. Right. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll sit down and think about it. I'm okay. not quite hungry. I can really <laughs> Yeah, I know. I'll just wait until tomorrow morning. Um, but as far as actually, <laughs> as far as actually receiving the physical or digital donations, how does that, what do they I would say donate? ask for donations of cards. Gift cards. Yeah, and that way there's no. Yeah. I don't even, yeah, okay. Like, I don't know how you would do digital. I don't know. Yeah. All right, so gift cards and then. And then I can pick up the food, not a problem whatsoever. Um, I have no idea what kind of alcohol. So I'm gonna leave that off. The, you have no idea what? What kind of alcohol to get. So wine, there's, I like look and then. I don't even know. I don't drink wine. So we can chat as well. Like if once we have a clue, I feel like Lou would thing. be really good at that. <laughs> I don't think Lou drinks. Um, he's the one that was like, we should definitely have alcohol. Well, Lou's a lawyer. He's thinking about dealing with people. He's easier with our drunk. Probably <laughs> <laughs> makes him perfect for it. I may ask him to. Probably wine coolers. I would think only because it's easy. Wine coolers? Well, like the easiest wine. Hi, Arnold's and James. <laughs> <laughs> the little things that I drink. Anyways. <laughs> oh, the things. Oh, that the they individual, like the center home cool. bottles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, not coolers, but you know. Yeah, just flashbacks. I, <laughs> I I think that from a cost effective standpoint, I, I think standard wine bottles that are there's a fairly easy needle to thread. Having run drinking events for many years, this is where I'm comfortable saying that um, there's a pretty easy needle to thread that is just above bottom of the barrel that's perfectly palatable and acceptable mm -hmm. to almost everybody. And no one's going to be coming expecting free wine to be great wine. So you're saying go to Aldi's, get discounted <laughs> wine. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> yes, if they, if they don't have to see the wine bottle, that would be a great choice. Since they do, well, mm, oh, what about the wine box? See, that, 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 <laughs> that. <laughs> So maybe that can be discussed. Can yeah. I make it? Yeah. Can I yeah. get myself? No, we yeah. we can shout. Once we have a clue, what's the... Okay. 
a tax return budget, budget looks like. Yeah. 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 That, 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 that is completely figurable. Okay. I can always talk to Elena too. Yeah, she would have some good suggestions and or maybe not to donate in some capacity. Or could put you in touch with a distributor who uh, would right. sell you a case or two at a reasonable price. Right. That's a good point. Yeah. Okay. You know, if it comes up casually. Yeah. Yeah, well, no problem. Okay. Okay. Dressing for this one? Bring whatever you're wearing to work. No, it's going to wear pajamas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, this ratty, looks ratty looks team torn shorts. Like it is. I watch kids. <laughs> this looks nice. Cowboy boots. Yeah. I think thinking that our demographic, you should just come. Come as you are. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Are Fine exactly. with it. I definitely insinuated that it was a casual meal. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Going out to black just... tie at the, <laughs> yeah, at the horse park. <laughs> I've done business functions that okay. are closer to that <laughs> exact thing. <laughs> so, I think you did, yeah. So there's going to be a lot of sand and yeah. dirt. And, yeah. Well, you're still at us. Right. <laughs> they, they do keep their things very nice, though. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm sure they'll kind of wet it down days before have it packed and yeah. whatever else um it won't be dusty is what i'm saying no i don't i don't think yeah. it will just it's yeah. i think it's a casual style mm -hmm. event yeah mm -hmm. anything else on that event i'm sure there is okay I, I think we should move on probably. all right so Moving on to the next item, member updates, comments. What is that? Uh, I have one for okay. you. Yeah, I don't remember if it, because I couldn't be here last month. I don't know if I've mentioned this since, but we had some really good discussions here about, uh, Josie brought up the, uh, the green initiatives that were becoming available federally mm -hmm. uh, through federal money. And one of the things that the planning board has actively been looking at is now is making, when I say changes to our solar bylaw, the real changes probably will not be in the solar bylaw, but it doesn't really matter for the purpose of this discussion. Changes in the bylaw to make it not only easier, but possible for businesses to pop, to hopefully leverage some of that money for mm -hmm. uh, parking lot solar, which is currently not allowed in town. Mm -hmm. for, um, I think because we it wasn't a thing when yeah. that was, when those laws were put together. Mm -hmm. But um, because because that info came through, uh, the the board kind of we looked at it and went, this looks like a way we could possibly help local businesses leverage some money that's out there. Mm -hmm. So we are working towards getting. Uh, well, I say we. Adam's doing the writing because he's the one who actually knows how to write things. We get to look at it and go, that's nice. And it's my personal hope that we will have something at the fall town meeting for the town to vote on hopefully to make this another avenue for local That's businesses. Awesome. Another resource. Yeah. yeah. So the slide actually okay. went through and was looking at everything. Yeah. Cool. So maybe then after that fall town meeting, that information should be put out there. I My question too is, Adam, the person that handles the um, social media, mm -hmm. if they could take that Facebook page, like I just created the cover. I've had no time to like work with it. But even Kevin Kerr was sending me some links and I'm like, oh, I can't get them on there. So I could send them to the social media. Yes, absolutely. Person. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they Because they're always looking there. for more content to mm -hmm. put out there on the town's Great. page. Everything okay. that happens now with the Center for Women and Enterprise or the LBA or whatever, I just forward it over to yeah. her. Yeah. So it well, hard. yeah. And I mean, these are triggers for businesses. Yep. So it's important stuff to get yeah. out there. Yeah, no, definitely. Right? Just want to <clears> have. I'm interested in that. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, we'll hopefully have a bylaw that we all think is good and we can put it forward to the town. And okay. I'm hoping the, the town, I'm, it is my hope and 
No, I'm not because it's my anticipation. It is my hope this will be an easy sell through the town. Mm -hmm. I have given up understanding and anticipating mm -hmm. what will be an easy sell through the town. You learned that lesson a lot quicker than I did. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure you guys know that, but like uh, just wording it and how it could benefit the small businesses in the future. Uh, like, even though it's just, you know, that pointing just out? a little parking lot. You know what I mean? But it's huge. It could be very huge and beneficial to uh, everybody here. Pointing out how it is environmentally friendly, business yeah. friendly, gets money back that we've already given mm -hmm. to the feds and lets you do whatever you want with your property. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping hits enough of those uh, magic keywords that you hear at town meeting and concerns that mm -hmm. might, you know. And I think the key is that it's only looking to be permitted in commercial industrial. Yes. Uh, so yeah, if, that's you know, big. your neighbor's not going to put it up and you've got to look right. at it or mm -hmm. deal with it mm -hmm. in your house. Interesting. Okay. That's going to be huge. That's exciting. Ifs. Yeah. Many ifs, but thank you for the feedback from this group. Um, and thank Come you to town meeting and support it. Yes, please. Yeah. Come what to town meeting, even if you don't support it, because people should come to town meeting. Well, that too. <laughs> what about next stamp? Are they at full capacity? Just curious on the solar farm. Has anybody? Uh, never heard? full capacity as in for the community solar? Right. I believe so. Okay. I mean, okay. that that thing is up and running. And No, I know. I, I know. I've heard different things. So I just wondered if they were at full capacity. I, be I believe they are, but that doesn't mean that they're not putting other fields online that right. they're selling capacity in to folks who had expressed interest previously. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they must have a waiting list of everything. Yeah, I would imagine. Okay. New business updates. Uh, 88 Mass Ave. They finally have business for the old yeah. grand rental. It's going to be a liquor store. Right. Um, so they went to the planning board last week and got their change of use. They've got their site plan approval. They did all the work in the parking lot. They closed the entrance. It looks, they've done a really nice job over there. Um, they're still dealing with some challenges between encroachments and leasing some land from Mackey, but uh, you know, they're, they've been troopers about it. And so- it's been a long time coming. Yeah, 22 year lease, she said uh, the business has. So it'll be there for a while. Yeah. Um, okay. now there's who lost their liquor license, liquor sales license that they're going to get one. I think it was a transfer. I don't know who, I don't, I don't know who the transfer came from. Okay. I don't mean lost pejoratively. Yeah. yeah, one, yeah. Because we're at public meeting. I'm, be I'm not implying anything. No, so it was, it was a transfer. I'm not sure who. Yeah. Who, it, in a guessing game scenario. Um, I can tell you from MLS right now, I, there is a liquor store, convenience store without the address being disclosed, which you can permissibly do now. That's under agreement. Mm -hmm. And I, and if I were to guess, I would think just based upon the one picture I saw that it's Baker's over in Whalem, it would okay. be wrong. Well, I know that, oh, yes, I think you might be correct because the Mrs. Baker was in front of the select board a few weeks ago to uh, transfer her license. Yeah. Uh, and she said there was going to be changes. I guess I inferred that that would be on site, but maybe that's picking up and going somewhere else. Does she have a full license? I don't know. I don't know. I never go in there. I, I've been in there. I just, I mean, they're one of the few places that you can get Orangina in town. So. Oh, really? Oh, we can get one in June in town. Good to know. <laughs> Not anymore because Baker's is closed. Oh. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know, I would expect to see that happen sooner rather than later. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm happy for that. Three Lancaster, uh, he is almost done with his construction. Right. Uh, so I would expect to see. It's exciting. Is it one family insurance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, open there soon. Uh, I believe that he has a construction company who will be headquartered in the basement. Uh, and there's some discussion about the other three spaces he has in there. So and the upstairs. he's got two upstairs. He's got yeah. one more on the first floor. So right. it'll be 
you know, four to five businesses in there. Have um, you seen the inside? I haven't been inside yet. It's beautiful outside. I yeah. can't imagine it's any different inside. Uh, stop over. He's done a he's done a really nice job. Yeah. Uh, Five twenty five Chase Road is the old garage across from the DPW. It is now New England Powder Coating. Uh, they are a custom powder coating shop. Um, they do a variety of different custom powder coatings. I don't think they're a production shop. They're a sort of a mm. you know a, a cottage sort of industry where you come and get custom stuff done. They are doubling the size of their building out the back. Wow. So they're going to cut into that hill and build, a, I think it's about a 3,000 square foot addition. Is that right? Uh, yeah. yeah, sounds about right. And um, it'll be mostly for storage of product and and other things, but uh, it's, it's a business coming from Fitchburg, moving into Lunenburg, so... Um, Oh, good. They say storage of product, but they're also planning on you. Like, I'm not, I don't want, again, they said storage of product, but then they also said they were, I thought it was implied they were going to be doing work back there too. They might be, yeah. Because, just because, I'm thinking of the drain system. That yeah, and I think it's just process of how they do the, the thing. And yeah. I think the drain is partially because they have a garage door. So if you can bring a vehicle in through the garage door, you need to have a floor drain okay. and it goes septic. So it goes to an MVC trap to a tight tank. Hmm. But yeah, they they have their approvals from the planning board and um, I would expect right. them to be looking to construct in the near future as well. Free and, Lancaster, when is their uh, grand opening? Is the town doing something? Uh, we, I have been in touch. I reached out to the town manager looking for some dates. So it would probably be mid September. We'd be looking to do something. Cool. Um, any updates on that Brazilian restaurant? I asked for my um, edification <laughs> and palate. Um, no, yeah. okay. it's, it's, uh, it's a struggle. Summer Street. Yeah. yeah. He's a really nice guy. He's working hard. Um, I think that there is some, general lack of understanding of what's required for the work that needs to be done as far as who needs to do it and how it needs to be done. Um, I, the building inspector had gone over there and said there's some PVC plumbing, which is not permissible in commercial buildings. I know he's uh, having some trouble with the Board of Health based on layout and mm. you know the equipment that he's already purchased prior to getting the approval and whether or not it meets the standards. Um, um, so I don't know what uh, uh, at Donnelly's in five summer street. It's all, I mean, it's all papered over. It's nothing. Mm -hmm. So uh, right now you'll have to live with, uh, what is it? Brazucal at yeah. the end of summer street, at the end of day street. It's a Brazilian place I heard on the plaza where the market basket is? Yeah, yeah. John Fitch has one. Yeah, yeah. Metal yeah. Geno's used to be. Have you guys I don't... Oh, I John have... Fitch does? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, market basket. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, no, there's one. But the sign's weird. It's like, it says something like buffet, 6.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. So I'm sure I'm misunderstanding, but I haven't had a chance to stop in yet and see. Where, the, where Fratelli's used to be? Uh, was Fratelli's one of the it revolving was... door pizza chains? Yeah. Okay, pizza, yeah. Yeah, where it always made me think of Goonies. That's the only reason I remember. Fair. I remember it was Papa Gino's because it was oh, my yeah. boys were in tears when it closed, and that it was Brothers Pizza, yeah. and my yeah. wife was in tears when it closed. <laughs> and but I don't think anyone in your family there because they're just going to fall off here. Oh, oh, no, we uh, we have a family understanding that if we enjoy a restaurant and we like the people who own it, we should never eat there again. Mm -hmm. Because a surefire way to ensure a restaurant closes is for us to enjoy it. And, and now Bootlegger is reboot. Or... Yes. Yeah. It's still the same. I heard the menu seems like it's really good. A lot of people seem to like it. Yeah. I think an Italian chain is going to be hard to sell over there with Il Forno, Il Forno. Yeah. who has I, an established reputation. Right, right. I did not understand the process of, let's ask Facebook what, pe what kind of restaurant people want. Oh, they said Italian. Let's open Italian. And 
I'm cautious to be critical of people running businesses because I assume they know more than I do. But I felt like they had to know a lot more than I do because <laughs> I didn't understand mm -hmm. that as a strategy for choosing what kind of restaurant you're opening. Yeah. I think it's more important to make good food that you're yeah. happy yeah, to yeah. make. Fair point. I saw. Was it? Yeah. What about Ruby's Donuts going into stuff? Yeah, he, found that. That. He, he bought the building. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know he'd buy it. Oh, yeah. 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 Now he's got to do the work. Adam, you okay. have my phone number. <laughs> he's he's a ways away from doing the work. I, he's giving... He's I giving like the news where I can get it. <laughs> <laughs> he's giving the other location to his nephew. Oh, oh. wow. An heir? Yeah. Wow. So did so, he give you any projected dates? No. No. So it could be spring. I... Yeah, I mean, I think there's, okay. I think there's a significant amount of work to be done there. Yeah, um, and that won't come before the planning board. No, thing because that's because it's a like for like. Yeah, it's, yeah exactly. So it'll be building permits, and I haven't seen any building permits come through on it. So I would infer that he's still collecting capital and working with the board of health to get his layout down. Okay. Um, Did they make their own numbers? Oh yeah, they're one of the top hundred in the country. Ruby's Donuts is heaven. Mm -hmm. It really is. My boys will be happy again. <laughs> <laughs> and um, there's been discussion. I don't know how fast or far it's gone, but uh, the vacant parcel across from Emerald Place and El oh, Forno yeah. is being resurrected as a commercial development. So, oh, wow. We'll see where that goes. By the owners, the new owners of Emerald Place? No, they, they didn't purchase that. Okay. By the original owners of Emerald Place. Oh, really? So they're looking to, they're marketing it to divest of it, but huh. with the idea that it will be a commercial development of some nature. Big, dusty plane on the right when you're heading into Lebanister. Yeah. That used uh -huh. to be the Whalen. I was, I could tell Jean was trying to figure out where I was talking about. <laughs> the Whalen Park parking lot back oh, in the yeah. day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's where you always park. Mary Ray has a speaker system and a microphone that they use for warships. Perfect. There we go. So, what about Lunenburg Central? Any news? Have they updated you with anything with regard to tenants? Um, they're still looking. Okay. They have some Seems potentials bizarre. that they're dealing with. Well, I think they finished it and the market started to cool a little bit. Right. Um, my understanding is they anticipated up to two years worth of carrying okay. before they had a tenant. So that's uh, their projection. Mark. They just got their COC from the Conservation Commission. The planning board has signed off on it. Um, so they're there. But it's an empty shell inside. Like there isn't bathrooms, right. there isn't offices, there isn't anything. So wow. they don't even have a full occupancy permit. So whoever signs on will have to do the tenant fit out before they're given occupancy. It's so visually appealing when you drive by. Mm -hmm. You know, the landscape looks beautiful mm -hmm. and just to attract you to it. So and, and they were the, the company they hired, they hired Onyx, they did a great job. They were A, they did it incredibly quickly but um, the yeah. lack of mess that they made was probably the most impressive oh really i mean a site that you know they had 25 acres open construction site for a long time and right we didn't have any significant washouts or or issues with them um, the one big issue was um, was a keating problem there uh, their settling pond overflowed and, and caused icing, but mm. that was a much larger issue that kind of came from um, lack of good records on where infrastructure had been installed previously. Huh. Such a huge building. It's just like, you yeah, know, I kind of want to go inside. I want to go sing in there. <laughs> 
It takes a long time to walk around that building. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Anything else? Harley House came off the market. I've been meaning to call hmm. him. I, um, I'm wondering if he just didn't get a buyer. Yeah. I, I think probably a, a little more marketing would be better. I think that he'll probably turn around and put it back on a little lower price. He had lowered the price it's a, a couple of times. It's a tough site for a home. It is. It's just so big. It is. Yeah. Um, when it was a bed and breakfast, I think. Well, yeah. I mean, if it were multiple units right. or if it were some manner of suited use, it. Right. You know, it, it's what six thousand square feet. Yeah, thereabouts. Is it still structured on the inside to accept in like an Airbnb type we don't bed do and breakfast or bed and breakfast? Bed and breakfast. Airbnb is not permitted in town. Oh really? 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 Yep. The village district. Tell that to the Airbnb. 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 Do well. Tell them. Airbnb. Bed and, bed and breakfast. Oh, bed and breakfast is. Breakfast. Oh, but but short-term rentals are 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 not allowed because our bylaw doesn't speak to them. So because they're they're not codified, they're prohibited. But I meant bed and breakfast. Oh yeah, it, I don't know if it's still set up for a bed and breakfast, but one would think that it probably if someone were interested in well, running something like that, the mean, amount of work to do it there would probably be minimal. Yeah, you're probably talking some right. door changes. Right. Because right. it's so a term. That would be very so things things down. Right. He got rid of the that commercial is, kitchen. That, that, would be, well, that would be the biggest attraction. And, and oh, that's so, not the biggest thing. Right. I know nothing about the box, so I can't. But my understanding was he sold off all of the store stuff. So I don't. I wonder if he sold off the. Yeah. Right. Possibly. Right. Just because. But it hadn't been. It hadn't been a commercial kitchen for five or more years when he bought it anyway. Yeah. So most of that equipment would probably have needed to be replaced or significantly repaired anyway. Who owns the Harley House? John Kiprianis. Is that his name? I so. Yeah. I heard he's a really nice guy. He is. Always. Yeah. He's a, he's a real estate yeah. agent. Yes. Um, yeah. Yeah. He bought it to live there and sort of set up shop, and I don't think he ever set up shop. And no. He just yeah. fixed it up and now he's like, I don't want to live here anymore. Right. Well, because we want to the antiques of the antiques. Yeah, that's it was the antiques for a while. And yeah. The she was there. renting it from oh. Mary's son. Yeah. Oh, was she? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then it went to auction and oh, okay. Ernie did it enough. So I do want to point out that Adam has a hard eight o'clock yes. stop. Oh, and yeah. And we have Thank half you. an hour of meeting. Okay. And and just lastly, real quick, the um, funeral home that's going to butt me. <laughs> what about? Uh, it? Well, they dropped the price on that. It's being marketed single family, but again, it's eight thousand square feet. I know it's a I perfect mean, funeral home. Is the Von Trapp family <laughs> going to move in? That's like about what you, you know would what? need to fill I it. I've called a couple of funeral directors. John McDonough and Lowell was interested in it, but they purchased something somewhere. Mm -hmm. else. So it's like because Lunenburg really kind of needs a funeral home, you know, not so there there was um someone who was interested in it for a massage bed and breakfast retreat place. That's what she was okay. And I thought she was going the other way. She decided that she was going to focus on a different community okay. that was that she had another lead in. Right. Um, because She's I from out of the area. Yeah, yeah. I well, I had emailed her and said, you know, I know you just checking in to see what where you were. I know this is this. There's another property down the road that is a little bit smaller and you know has a history of the same thing. And she said, Oh, well, thanks for reaching out, but I'm doing I'm focusing over here. Yeah, she was a friend of a friend. Okay. Um, um and you know. It sounded like it would have been an interesting use. But that's a big building for a use like that, unless you're a full well, fledged spa with. But I think of... I think that's what her intent was yeah. was to yeah. be a full fledged spa where you went and stayed for three or four days right. and did the whole thing. Right, just a relaxation retreat. Yeah, right. you know, sort of like um, what is it out in the Berkshires, but on a smaller scale. 
Do you think Lunenburg would have Powell? Yeah. Oh, okay. Isn't that out in the Berkshires? Yeah, it is kind of like a yoga center. Yeah, it's a yoga massage, hmm. meditation, relaxation. It's very comfortable. Very comfortable. Comfortable. <laughs> because it used to be a school, so the bedrooms are like warm. Uh, it's supposed to be have a feeling of community, but it's really feels like a building. I've never been there. I mean, sure bathrooms. My wife was telling me about it, and I just pictured a bunch of middle aged women in really expensive workout clothes doing a variety of relaxation activities. <laughs> I was at Lancaster right now. They have their um, Atlantic, Atlantic Union College. Oh my gosh. Why are they good? Those buildings are beautiful. I don't know. I think there's a lot of controversy. I just read very quickly about it. Well, they don't have any staff, so I don't know how they're doing anything with anything. Uh, I mean, that is the it's town of gorgeous. Lancaster. Oh, really? Yeah. They don't have a building inspector, to my knowledge, or oh, a right. planning we director, or. No, they're more so off than you. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Okay, moving on. Master plan update. Uh, so I am in the process of trying to find a date to have the steering committee's first meeting. Um, the consultants have been working on background and uh, empirical information, excuse me. They are in the process of trying to find someone to build a model that they can afford. Mm -hmm. um, so they're gonna build a five foot by seven foot model of the entire town uh, and the concept they showed me is a topographic model that has an exaggerated Z axis with a floating um, plastic pane on top of it with the road network and significant buildings and houses mm -hmm. on it. So you can look down and see where all the roads and stuff are, but you can visualize all the, the different topographic mm -hmm. elements. Um, and they want to bring, it comes apart in four pieces and it's sort of a way to have people visualize the town at public meetings and engage right. with different things. And they can, they're talking about being able to put overlays over the plastic or write on it with dry erase markers and hmm. stuff like that and sort of encourage people to, to participate. And at the end of the project, um, the town will get the model and will yeah. find some place for it to live permanently. Yeah. Having a topographic model of the town over which we can place overlays yeah. is like the one of the most beautiful things I've ever heard. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> How many community uses are there for that? You missed the rendering. I was like, yeah, yeah this was, is great. <laughs> yeah, I, I felt awful. <laughs> I say take Legos. <laughs> and, um, and so I would expect that sometime in late September, early October, there'll be another public forum. And sometime in that same time frame, there'll be another survey coming out. Okay. Uh, and we're in the process of securing um, web hosting and a domain name for a, a master plan website so that there's one place that people can go and and access information see. as it comes up, places that we can just flash people to for getting access to surveys and other stuff like that. Okay. Pretty good. Quick question now that I think of it. Um, you know, Gilman Law left and yes. moved to Shirley. Mm -hmm. The survey that we originally put forward, mm -hmm. and um, did we send anything to them? Is there any triggers? We never created a, okay. a, 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 an exit, exit survey. No. It was more of a trying to get a baseline survey and we didn't get a great response. Okay. Yeah. I'm just wondering, I, it just would be useful, you mm. know what I mean, to find out. They didn't have enough space. Yeah. I mean, I, I know that's why they left. Um, okay. They were growing that building wasn't going to support expansion right uh and they they did a lot of it too and they they couldn't find space that they felt right. was adequate for them right yeah well and the parking is tough too yeah and I, I got the impression um and i don't think that they explicitly said this but they wanted to be in a downtown e sort of area like they didn't want to be 
they didn't want to be down on Mass Ave where straight right. real estate is. Right. Um, right. That works great for straight, but right. that wasn't where center they wanted to be. Yeah, they wanted to be in a town center. Right. Um, yeah. And that building, they maxed out like that. Yeah. Yeah, they did quite a bit though. Yeah, because okay. that building was a mess when they bought it. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Or else. Yeah. Okay. So committee discussion. Anything that we haven't already touched on? <laughs> We're kind of discussing it. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. I don't think there was anything else. <laughs> My brain's fried today. Um, okay, public comment. Anything? Um, yeah. Who would like to make a motion to adjourn the meeting? Jean. Does the house oh, oh, oh. oh. Before the motion, okay. do you want to try and meet again before, before the, the event? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. So Goodbye. you should probably schedule that now. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, you call the shot. All right, are we sticking with Thursday evenings that work best for everybody generally all the time? Probably. Okay. Yeah. So the event's on the 28th, two weeks out. It's the 14th. The 14th is when um, I would, would be... send out that email. Yeah. So maybe we meet the 14th. Okay. All right. The week previous would be too close to this one. It wouldn't make six o'clock Thursday, September fourteenth. Correct. Yes. Six o'clock. Okay. Does that work, for everybody? It I does. would okay. say that that would be a good kind of deadline for getting all of it. Yeah, yeah. and then if there's anything, yeah. any little loose end there, we can yeah. address what. I will do my best to be here, but um, I'm not going to promise. So you can zoom in from the car. Okay. Um, yes, sir, anything <laughs> else? Right, I might be able to do a zoom. I got where I'll be zoom. Yeah. But I think that would be a good game plan and goal for all of us just to get our mm -hmm. to-dos wrapped up right. and be I'll, able to I'll discuss. Stuff that I have for me, I will get to you before plans. Okay, that sounds good. So is, good. Is, do you check with the email? Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, I do. Okay, so who would like to make a motion? Gina, Gina. Gina. motion. I'll yes. second. Adam, second. Second. motion. Okay. Meeting adjourned. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Danielle's still there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah.